Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to your weekly reading, weekly energies. This is for the third week in the month of November. And I'm calling this week like the calm before the storm. And why it's so loves is because the holidays are almost here. And this week feels like kind of like wrapping up rounding up certain things some of you may feel that you know it's a recap of whatever you've done all over this month or all over this year but let's see what do we have in the energies general for all of you take it accordingly some of you may found this readings quite personal others of you may be here and there a message Page of Swords, Two of Wands, and Ace of Pentacles, and Nine of Pentacles. All right, it seems here the, the Virgo I'm speaking here, you might be a single Virgo, not necessary, but it seems here that till this moment or till or like the first two weeks you were just looking what I should do next or what's my for my next steps and now it's just kind of like you know I'm not gonna look anymore I have an opportunity to go forward and why not this is more like taking a leap of faith or choosing something over whatever you had let's see what this is about Five of Wands, Queen of Wands, yeah, it's kind of getting out from the crowd, Moon, Seven of Swords, Six of Cups, Hermit. You definitely will, um, will analyze of whatever you've been or what you had, Justice. Four of Cups and the Magician. It's kind of the, for some of you, you could have fire in your chart, moon in fire. You could have air, or you could be a Virgo at the, um, at the border, like Virgo, Cusp, Libra. There's something in those lines. However, we are not sticking with these energies. We are sticking with the, with the storyline loves. I feel here you are more confident, stronger confident that whatever you had till this moment was not fully suited for you or was not showing that you are, can bring anything good or balanced. And now you are ready to move to, to something new or to something else. It's kind of like, I've seen that, now it's something else. Yeah, it's kind of feel like you, you get away with certain things or you move away. It's kind of, till it's not too late. I gotta do this till it's not too late or till I can, but I see you definitely analyzing certain things you've been into, or done to. Could be some of you, you analyzing the connections you built till now, how you are towards them, how those connections are towards you, what you benefit, what they benefit, and so on. So it's kind of like you speaking about the, the end of the year, you're more likely kind of like crossing a line and what's good and what's not, what's plus, minus, positive, negatives. And you take with you kind of like the results and moving. So it's kind of like, yes, feels like a basic way to do the things, but seems that that works for you to know where you are in your journey or to know where you are in your life 
and who you will want to stick with and who you don't want to stick with. So for some of you, this week might be a, a good week to clean up things that might not serve you anymore. I learned certain things and what I need to learn more, what I know better and what I need to improve. So definitely it's a week of cleaning up. The five of Wands here. Hangman. A lot of things here or a lot of people in your life are the way they are. You're not going to change them. The only one who changes is you. And for some of you, you're not going to stay anywhere that you feel there is no growth. The Seven of Swords, Four of Swords. Again, it's about like I need to get away from here or from this place till it's not too late. You know, it could be a place, could be a work, could be um, a circle of people, could be some kind of environment. Nine of Swords. Yeah, I feel here you are might be also out of your comfort zone, but you think what's best for me. And seems like a little selfish on your side, but it's like the decisions you are making, it's not a day or two. You definitely know. You definitely know. And you're taking actions. The moon. It's kind of scary, kind of, this. But you know it's the time. As I said, because the energy is very strong and sometimes I might repeat myself. The wheel is turning and the wheel also speaks about the, the divine timing. I don't know. I feel here for some of you, you, you could ask yourself a lot this. Is this the right time? Is this a good time? Is a good time when you think to take the first step? It's always a good time. The Four of Cups here. Queen of Pentacles. It's kind of like it's only up to me to see it and receive it because four of cups definitely there is an opportunity here okay that you you definitely might benefit about it with the sun here underneath but unless you not get out of your comfort zone and move from whatever you got there it's not gonna be possible one more card for the four of cups four of cups and the queen of pentacles Ace of Cups. That's exactly what we speak here. It's always an opportunity. So for some of you, feels like this is the time to get into this or to grab this. For some of you, I feel here that similar things you had in the past and you might said no. Mm -mm. I'm not going to do it. But now it's just kind of like, let's try it. I can do it. I manifest actually this. I ask the universe, why not? Ace of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. One more card. Ten of Wands. So here you are, five of cups, five of pentacles, my apology. So with this underneath here and the ten of wands here in the clarifications is, you see here, we do have the five of wands and then we have the ten of wands, which really speaks here that you don't really clearly see how that will work. 
But the fact is that you want to put in effort. It's the step forward. Even though you don't have much kind of like much trust or much expectations, many expectations, but why not? Let's see here, what else? But I will give one more clarification for this Five of Wands and the Hangman. One more clarifier card. Temperance. Yes. And Six of Swords. So you're definitely here moving away from a situation. And next to the hangman and temperance is um, is the energy here that I rather be good with myself than good with others. There's something here like really matters how I feel, not how others feel. Because I feel here, whatever you want to do might not be agreed or approved by others around you. But whatever you do is definitely here kind of for you. What's the Page of Swords here for? The Empress. Abundance. Growth. Eight of Cups. It's kind of uh, a try. I always see, I always look for, I always wanted. And now you have this opportunity. You do. So for some of you, it's like, yeah, getting out of your comfort zone. See the opportunity and go get it. What advice we have from Spirit? To you, here it goes. Page of Cups. Why not? Why not giving a try? If you feel so, your intuition really speaks to you. Follow it. There's something here about you now. Page of Wands. Seven of Wands. of swords and nine of pentacles what I'm feeling here and here is the two of swords getting out of your comfort zone might be you know like you you walking on a eggshells but will will give you more into the energy of I've done it, I see it, now I gotta move. And now looking over and over and over to the same thing. There's some, some kind of try out. Either work it or doesn't. You will try, you will see it for yourself. Let's say for example, you you wanted a specific person to be with or date or even know. And you always have the hesitant like that person is somehow, somewhere. And you might be surprised here that that person actually could be into you. Or you might be surprised that that person is not as how you've seen it, whatever you are looking for. For others of you, could be a career or a job. If you're not trying, you never know how is. A lot of people could have success. Why you can't? You gotta try it. For others of you, there is a there's a venture. You always thought, I wanna try it. I have certain skills. I wanna try it. You definitely have the ability now to take that step. Don't hesitate, loves. Take the step. 
let's see one advice from the oracles deep knowing <clears throat> you know my apology you know go the distance to be fair and the last card here by the book and underneath we have flexible if you will stay flexible and do it the right way you know this will work perfectly for you in the long run so there's something here really speaks that could work beautiful in whatever you have in your mind no matter which area you're looking but doing by the book one step at a time to be fair in a good time manner and if you keep going keep moving you know that will work again flexibility is the key so lovely virgos that's quite a week for you darlings blessings and i'll see all of you next time bye for now